Hello, today I'm going to be doing a color correction tutorial for the video I used on Dreeks' video. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and also Fakie's video. So, first thing you want to do is open your clip. So, uh, let's open that. I'm just going to cut down it. So, split it, split it, delete those two, crop it. I already have a preset, so. This just gives it a widescreen effect. Uh, there, you can see there. But uh, this is Andrix's clip, so his XP bar is getting covered, but it's there. So, <coughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go down to brightness and contrast. Gonna uh, just go reset to none. I re I already have a preset, so I'm gonna drag it in. Make brightness negative 0 0.04, contrast 0 0.10, and contrast center 0 0.5. Just going to close that. Then you're going to go scroll down to color curves and just click reset to none. I already have a preset, but with this, it's kind of weird because there's no real numbers. You can see you kind of have to like make these waves look similar. So you're going to go to RGB and bring it down. Click on red should show those two things and just try and make it look like that you can uh pause the video so that you can get it perfect but i'm just going to go through each one of them so there, that's red that's green and that's blue so once you've gotten that now I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the edges a bit darker so you're going to go down to soft contrast scroll down actually just drag in any of these you're just gonna treat be changing them so I already have a preset again and yeah so for effect everything's gonna be zero because you don't want to change like the contrast or anything we have it at a perfect contrast and br brightness so you're gonna go down you're gonna go to the left the right of that and click vignette make sure exterior effect is black Strength is 38.39. Vignette shape is rectangle. <coughs> Softness is full or 50. Width is 75. Height is 70. Corner radius is 13. X position is 51. And Y position is 51. So that's basically what it looks like. So uh, this is for my render settings. So you're going to hit you're going to go to file, click render as, and you're going to save as type. You're going to make it mp4, which is all the way at the bottom. And template, you're going to go to custom. And frame size will be 1280 by 720. Frame, frame rate will be 59.94. Uh, field order will be pro progressive. Bit rate will be 35. Uh, and you're going to click priori prioritize quality over speed so you'll get the best quality and put it to high. And you're going to go to audio. Just click, make sure it's stereo. Like if you use any of these other things, it'll mess it up. And project video rendering quality is going to be best. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And that's pretty much it.